everyone. The following video is a video I recorded with the help of a colleague of mine, Frank Latino. He is the global product manager for Ethernet AP devices. The reason why I asked for his help is because I was working on setting, uh, setting, uh, setting up this module. This is an Ethernet AP module uh, for the CPX API product family from Festo. Um, so I was setting this up in the Studio 5000 software from Rockwell Automation and uh, I wanted to get some tips and hints from him uh, on different approaches on how to set this up. Uh, the network that I was working in um, had dif had different modules like this one. This is a four digital input, four digital output module, and it also had a valve manifold like this one. So um, hopefully while you watch the video, you'll find some interesting tips there uh, and you'll find it as helpful as, uh, as, I, as I did. So thanks for watching. Frank. Um, so today I wanted to reach out to you because um, I have this new platform which is called CPXAP or CPX API and it consists of different modules like this one here on the left which is an Ethernet IP module and then I also have a bunch of different IO modules like this one uh, with M8 connections, M12 connections and then I also have a, a, a manifold uh, interface for, for, for valves, right? Okay. And and yeah, and the reason why I wanted to, to reach out to you is because I have this module, this one, which is the CPX API EPM12, and this is the Ethernet, uh, Ethernet IP interface. So I wanted to get your help on how to set it up on the Rockwell environment. Okay, Sancho, should not be a problem. All right. I'm glad to help you. Yeah, yeah, thank you. So what I have here is I already have some hardware laid up in my, uh, in my desk. I have a, a CPX API, so let me show you here on the on the uh, on these pictures. I have this one, and then I also okay. have one of this, uh, an input module, and I also have a valve manifold. So I have these three devices. Okay. This one, this one, and this one, right? So I want to. How do I start? How do I scan these devices? So how do you have them connected on the uh, API system? I have, um, so I have one cable, let me go back here. I have one cable from this port going to my Rockwell PLC, right? Okay. The, the Ethernet IP cable. Mm -hmm. And then on the uh, on this port, on the XF20, I have, uh, I have daisy chain the, the CPX API modules one to each other for okay. the communication. Okay, that's yeah? fine. So that's your primary port. Yeah. And you're going to go uh, to, as you said, daisy chain to two different modules. Yeah. Uh, Nate digital input first and then uh, vault manifold next. Okay, great. Well, um, to see what you have, uh, you could use the web server first, but I guess you don't have an IP address set up in the node if it's out of the box, correct? It is out of the box, yeah. I, I was reading through the manual and I noticed that uh, out of the box it starts as DHCP, right? Well, that's correct. That's an ODVA requirement and uh, all of our devices are DHCP out of the box. It should be pretty easy to set the IP address though. You could use Rockwell Boot P for starters. Okay, I okay. Would, I would start uh, with that. Okay, yeah, we can do that. Uh, let me start Boot P then. Uh, so let me look it up. Boot P DHCP from Rockwell. I opened that up and right now it seems like it's scanning the network, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. It should pop up in the uh, discovery history box. You should see the MAC ID. Okay. The MAC ID of the of oh, the CPX of the, API, right? That's correct. Okay. Oh, so there's, there's, there's something. A, yeah. yeah, there's something here. And if I wanted to make sure, I can always double check against the, what's printed on the device, I right? I would always recommend that, yes. Yeah, okay. So I'm checking the device right now and it ends in 3A9D and it starts with 000EF0. That's perfect. Yeah, so you found okay. the device, right. Okay. So um, double click on that uh, MAC address and you'll okay. see here you, the IP address, now you can, you can enter it in. What IP address would you like to assign? Uh, uh, I'm working on this range, 192.168.4 okay. uh, on this range, so we can set this to, I don't know, let's say it to 13. Okay, that's fine. Okay. So you hit OK. All right. And now it comes up in the bottom uh, where it says Entered Relations. Yeah. Now I would uh, click on that. Yeah. 
And what, at this point, what you want to do is to disable the boot p DHCP request. So you see the button on the right says disable it. This and, one, yeah. Yeah, click that button. And I've seen sometimes even I get messages with Rockwell devices that says it's unable to service the device. So, okay. um, but hit that button uh, again. Again. And okay, command um, successful. There you go. So okay. I, I think now you've got this device is now set up for that IP address. Um, okay. You can check it different ways. You could even check it with our FFT tool. Ah, okay. Uh, so FFT is Festo Field Device Tool. This one, right? Yeah. Okay, so that would be one way, and then the other way would be just to ping it with a command sure. prompt or something sure. like that, right? Okay, there it is. So oh, four thirteen. So okay. it did take it. Okay. Um, if you want to be double sure, you could always uh, turn it off, turn it back on again to see if it comes up with the same IP address now. Okay. Um, but I'm pretty sure it will. Um, or else, if you if you double if you just click on this, um, click. Or yeah. Maybe it's right click and go to network, network. Uh, oh, there it is. And it says use, it's going to use the, use following, the following IP way. address. So it looks like it's static for me. So I think um, I think you're good. Okay. Um, yeah. So okay. You hit okay. Right. Mm -hmm. And you don't. You shouldn't need this tool anymore. So you can close the mm -hmm. uh, FFT if you like here. I can close it. All right. Yeah. I'm not going to install any updates at this time. Okay. All right. Uh, can I close with P as well? Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do I need to save no, the changes? No, I don't think so. Okay.